Hello and welcome back to the channel. This week's video is all about getting you started with Astro and using Markdown. In this video you'll learn about how to create a new Astro project from a template, how to create a base layout for all your pages, creating page specific layouts for use with Markdown, and how to create individual pages using Markdown. To get started with this video you'll need to have the latest Node.js installed and Visual Studio Code set up with the Astro plugin. And I've left a link to the completed tutorial source code in the video's description below. So I've opened up a PowerShell, or any shell for that matter, inside the folder where we're going to be creating our new project. And the command we need to run is npm create astro. And you must have node.js installed for this to work. And then ask you for the name of the project, and that's for the folder that it's going to create. I'm going to name mine Video Astro Getting Started, but you can name it whatever you like, and I will have this available on GitHub for you. Now, for this project, I'm going to use the A Few Best Practices Starter, which I highly recommend. The empty project doesn't really give you much direction, and I don't really like the personal website starter kit. Then ask you if you'd like to install the npm dependencies. Now you can do that yourself with npm install, but you may as well just hit Y and they will be downloaded for you. So the packages have been installed now. And then ask you if you'd like to initialize a new Git repository. Now you can do this with git init command. We're just going to hit Y and it creates us creates it for us. Then in terms of TypeScript, I'm going to choose relaxed and we're complete. So now it tells us we have to change into the directory to start work, but I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code in that directory. So I've opened up the project in Visual Studio Code. Now I do highly recommend that you have the Astro extension installed for Visual Studio Code. It has a lot of features and a lot of them you actually do need to be able to move forward easily. First thing we're going to do is run the server. So you open up the npm script section. You can hit the play button next to dev. And that's the same as running npm run dev. You can then control click on the link to open up the live reloaded page in your browser. And there's the default starter. We're going to now do some work on that to help you get started with some of Astro's core features. So all the files that Astro compiles sit in the source folder. If you open up the source folder, we'll then go into layouts and we'll see we've got our main layout file there. And if we open up our index.astro in pages, you'll see that that layout is being imported. Now you notice our index page is full of HTML, it's an Astro file, and our layout has our generic HTML. What we're going to do is we're going to get the HTML out of our page and we'll turn the page into a markdown file and then we'll create a more generic layout file used to every page and a more specific layout file for the home page. First thing we'll do is we'll rename our layout to base layout.astro. Make sure you use capital B and capital L as it's a component similar to a React component. And then we'll get our page and we'll rename that to home. And we'll drag that into the layouts folder. So inside home, we're going to import base layout. So we do that automatically. And then you tab across. And then we'll grab the title and the closing arrow. And we'll bring our base layout down the bottom. And they're ready to start on the page. So create a new file and we'll call it index.md for markdown. Put our three dashes in for the front matter. 
and then we'll put in a title. We'll call it home and we'll copy the text out of the instructions paragraph and we have to make a few changes. So for code we can delete the code tags and use backticks. For the new line we will delete the BR and we'll use an escape character to keep the new line and for strong we use double asterisks to create bold and a new line at the end. Now we do have to specify the layout. So our layout is going to be home.astro. So we'll do layout and it'll go up on directory and then into layouts slash home.astro. Make sure you surround that with some inverted commas for it to work. And we'll save those two files and we'll go back to the browser. And if you refresh, you'll get the welcome screen back again, but the text will be missing. So now we have to go ahead and configure the template so we can pull in that text from Markdown. So the way we do that is we use the slot and we have to make it a self-closing tag. The problem we're going to get is when the slot pulls the content out of the markdown file, it's going to surround it in p tags already. So what you have to do is we'll change those p tags there to div so we can apply the styling. And then we'll save it and we'll have a look in the browser. So it's working as expected. Now we can go ahead and work with the cards and reduce the amount of code that's present to make it more dry. So as you can see, there's a lot of code repetition here with the cards. What we can do is we can set up an array in our markdown file, and then we can generate those cards using map. So what we'll do is we'll highlight all of those cards and copy them. Go into our index.md and we'll paste it into the front matter. We'll highlight the card opening tag and we'll change all occurrences and delete it. Highlight the self-closing tag, change all occurrences and delete it. Highlight the equals and we'll change all occurrences. And we're now converted into YAML. Highlight the entire block. And we use shift tab to bring it back and we'll push it forward just one tab. Then we'll highlight href and use the cursor and put in a dash and a space. You can then highlight that whole section and bring the cursor before the dash and we can use backspace to get rid of all the empty space. We then need to create a key that's going to be cards and we've got our array with all of those cards present. So we'll save that, go back to our home.astro, we'll delete all of the cards except the first one. Now to use JavaScript it's just like JSX you have to put in some curly braces. We now need to access our markdown parameters. So what we'll do is we'll do const curly braces we're going to destructure so front matter equals astro dot props. We can then do inside our curly braces front matter dot cards dot map open brackets you then need to provide a property that you're going to use within each function. So we'll do card. And then we're going to use the arrow syntax. And 
we'll grab our card. Now inside card, we're going to have the we're going to access href, title, and body. So if it's going to be get rid of that. We we'll use curly brace card dot href. So that's our variable name there. And then the title will be card.title. Make sure you get rid of those double quotes. Otherwise it won't work. And for body, card.body. You can use Alt Shift F to format if you've got the Astro plugin installed. And we'll save that and we'll have a look in the browser. And it's working just as before, except we haven't got the repetition of the card components. We're pulling that directly in from our markdown, so you can easily add more cards if you wish. So now we'll go through how to create a new page. We're going to pages, and we'll call it temp.md. Make a title of temp page. Layout. We'll do layouts slash default dot astro and then we'll put in some lorem ipsum then we'll go into our layouts and we'll make a layout called default go back into our home and we can copy out the base layout and the front matter variable. We'll save that. So back in our home layout, you'll notice we have the main tag. What we'll do is we'll move that main tag into our base layout. So where the slot is, we'll put in the main tag. Save that, and then we'll go into our default. And the basics of it are the slot. We also need to pull in the base layout. And the title, we'll make front matter dot title. We'll format that, and then we'll add a heading, so do a h1, and then we can insert front matter dot title, copy it from the base layout title, so we'll save that, and then we'll check it in the browser. So we haven't got any styling applied, but we're pulling in our h1 tag, and then we're pulling in our markdown via the slot. So that's it for the video. If you liked it, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comments section. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you're notified of my regular coding tutorials.